Hi, this is your Sussex County chiropractor, Dr. Will Holdsworth from Pain Relief Chiropractic. I'm here with Mello today. Well, we call him Mello. Uh, he is the owner of All Tune and Lube down in Dover, <laughs> and he's been coming to see me because he's having some problems with his shoulder, um, kind of in this area here and in the front. Uh, and then he also came in for some low back pain, but it was very mild. The primary focus is we're working on the left shoulder today. Uh, we are also going to work on your left hip too, correct? He was doing some uh, exercise and uh, he aggravated the hip. So we're gonna work on that too and, and see what we can do for him. What would you say the pain in the hip is at right now on a zero to 10 scale? Uh, about four. Four, okay, and the shoulder pain is pretty much a like zero at rest. It's just with motion. Just with motion now. And that is because of the previous treatments that yeah. were done. It was a lot worse then. Right. And we, the first visit, you had a four out of 10 pain with the shoulder and you stayed there. And now you're at your third visit and you're at pretty much a zero only with motion. So what we're going to do today is we're going to work on the shoulder. Uh, we're going to do some loosening up of the muscles. We're going to adjust the shoulder. We're going to adjust the neck, mid back, low back. I'm going to do some muscle work on his hip as well. And we're going to adjust your hip. Okay. okay. All right. So we're going to get started. What you're going to do, Mel, is you're actually going to swing around to your left and I'm going to get working on the muscles here and stay seated. Just uh, face that Perfect. left, uh, left side. That. Perfect. Yep. So we're going to loosen up this area first. You take your arm, go from here and you're going to grab that elbow. Perfect. You got a great memory, Mel. <laughs> We've done this before on the previous two visits. When you were exercising, did you work out your shoulder at all? Yes, I do two exercises for shoulder. Okay. How did your shoulder feel when you did those exercises? I always feel sensitive and a little bit of pain on the initial exercise. And as I keep going, it gets a little easier. Okay. And so it's a little bit painful on the first move. That's correct but then you work through it anyway? That's correct. Okay, be careful when you do that, all right? Uh, I will try my best. <laughs> Maybe I should stay in bed, right? <laughs> no, it's good that you work out. You work out three or four days a week? That is correct. And he works out really early in the morning. He That's is right. a perfect model of what you would want to do to live a healthy lifestyle. He eats well, right? That's correct. Well, I'll try to. Try to. And relax your arm down. You're going to take your left arm, raise it in the air like you're asking me a question. Put your left hand down on your low back, your left hand. Your right hand's going to do nothing. Oh, this right. hand goes oh, down. Got you. Got yep. you. And then back up. So this is another muscle he has in his shoulder. And how long have you guys been located in Dover? All tune and loop. Almost 20 years. Almost 19, 20 years. Over 19. A few more here. And one more. Is there any discomfort with any of these moves that we're doing? Not, no, not, not at all. Not at all. Tilt your head to the left. So you're going to approximate your ear to your shoulder. So you're actually going to go face forward and just move the ear to the shoulder and then move the other direction. Good. We'll get these knots out too. Go back and forth. Pressure still good? That's fine. Awesome. Anything going on for the weekend? Probably working on the house. <laughs> working on the house. Good. Well, you said it's almost done, right? Yeah, I'm doing landscaping and uh, some, some other stuff there right now. So. Nice. Good. And relax. What we're going to do now is you're going to go on your stomach, face down. And how is your low back bothering you at all today? Or is it no, gone? I didn't even feel I had one. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. We're gonna loosen this up a little bit so we can get into working on the front side of the hip that's bothering him here. Okay. 
This is a common area of tightness in pretty much everyone, especially people with low back pain. Um, when you get that symptom of sciatica going down your leg, a lot of people talk about that. That's because of the tightness in this area. It will get so tight that the sciatic nerve, which comes out of this area, gets compressed because of the muscle tightness. So that's why usually people get sciatica. There's other causes of it as well, but that's probably the most common. Good. And let me borrow your arm. Do you have your Halloween costume picked out yet, Mello? No. No. I, I am in costume every day already. You're in costume every day? <laughs> Pressure out right here? Yep. Good. That's fine. Were you getting uh, pain in your upper back from doing like a rowing machine? Yes. How did, did you do that exercise? I didn't do it again. I'm taking a little easy because of my hip. Right. So I didn't go yesterday. We had the meeting in yep. the Londres farm. So, so on the farm didn't, didn't yeah. have to. So I was going to go this morning. I said, no, maybe it's better if I take a break yeah. instead of aggravate it. Yeah. Well, and I remember working with you the uh, previous two visits. These moves that we were doing were really sensitive, and you're like cruising through these now. Mm -hmm. You're feeling a lot better. That's great. We're going to get into the adjustment portion now. We're going to get your mid back first. I'm just going to check and see what's moving and what's not. So right here is a good spot. What you're going to do is you're going to breathe in and breathe out. Good. We're going to breathe in and out here. In and out here. And one more here, Mel. Good. Good work. Let's go on your back. Face up. Left first. We're gonna do some muscle work first. Okay. I really want to get this hip uh, fixed too, okay. because we're at the point of care with your shoulder where I want to release you from the office. If you have no issue with the pain in the shoulder anymore, then you don't need to come in here, okay? But now you have a hip issue, so I want to fix that. If I can get your hip fixed today and your shoulder fixed, then you're good to go. But if it's still bugging you, swing in here and we'll finish out the hip. Do a little more, we won't forget about the shoulder. If your shoulder's still bothering you and you're moving it, you should swing in here. But, you know, I want you to be able to do everything you want to do without any pain. You want to work out, you shouldn't have to be in any discomfort, you know? That would be excellent. Would that be, is the goal. Great. So you're going to work out tomorrow or today? Uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow? Yeah, I never work out during the day. I just go early in the morning, so. Yeah, and he, you go really early. Tell, yeah, tell everyone yeah. what time you get to the gym. Well, I used to, I used to get up at uh, 3.45. Now I get up at 4.30, get to the gym at 5. So you sleep in a little bit and wake up at 4.30? Exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's great. What time do you go to bed in order to wake up at 4.30? Uh, 9 o'clock or so. 9 o'clock. 9, 9.30. That's Last good. night, because I have decided I was not going to go to the gym, I stayed up to like 10.30 or so. Okay. Rotate here. And we'll adjust your low back here. Go ahead and breathe in from the mellow and breathe out. 
Good. Go flat on your back again. We're gonna bend the other knee. And we'll take your arms here and cross. Rotate. Good. Let this leg drop down. Go ahead and breathe in and then breathe out. What I want you to do is lay on your side, face that painting still, on the mm -hmm. side, and you're going to bend this knee, straighten this leg out, and bring your left knee to your chest, and go back down, up and down here. Mm -hmm. Feel that spot? Yep. This is another spot that, if it's tight, will give sciatica symptoms, part of your hip, loosen this guy up, and then we're going to get the front. Loosen up your hip flexor, then I'm going to adjust your hip. When we do the muscle work before we do the hip adjustment, it usually goes in a lot easier. And we'll do a couple more. And last one. Good job. Let me borrow your leg and just relax. I'm going to do all the work. Pressure all right? Motion fine. okay? Absolutely fine. Good. So this is his hip flexor. This is the final piece of the puzzle. So loosening up his hip. Good. Let's go on your back. Face up, we'll get your hip adjusted. Relax the leg here and let me hang on to it. Good. All right, let's finish out the shoulder work. Relax your elbow on my knee here, good. And yeah, if we compare the way that you're reacting to the muscle work today, then compared to the first visit, second visit, this is like night and day. You have like no... And I feel it too. Yeah. Can feel the improvement. Good. Let's get your wrist adjusted, relax this. Relax this. Hand on your cheek. And breathe in and then breathe out. And you can relax your hands down. We'll get your neck adjusted. And just put them in Gonna lower this just a little. Good. And we're gonna just do some muscle work here. Get this loosened up. Let's check your range of motion first. You're going that far that way, and a bunch further that way. Restricted there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I we're gonna do, it. get this spot. I first. Was right. Yeah, let's go down in here. Relax the head. Good. And let's check. Let this relax. Good. Relax it. Further there. Relax the head. Good. You're stiffening up on me. <laughs> is this pressure all right? Yes, it's fine. So, this is another way to kind of get motion in the joint. This is mobility. And what we're doing is we're just 
and encouraging that motion that you're restricted in, which should help you rotate your head further. I did this on a patient yesterday, and rather than getting the cracks that we usually get, the adjustment, relax your head. Okay. He was getting the cracks after he left. So we were talking in the lobby. He's moving his head around. It's just pop, pop, and crack, <laughs> pop. Because it's just now that the joint motion is restored, he can get to that end range and the gas is just leaving the joints. This is an easy way to work the neck in. Still doing all right? Yeah, it's fine. Relax it. Okay. Let's get one more spot down low. And let the head go. Good. Mm -hmm. What I want you to do is come up. We're going to see how you're doing. Let's definitely move the shoulder around. Swing it around like, uh, go like up in front and then back. Any rotation here? Any pain with this? No. Nope. None? Good. Okay. No, I don't feel any pain. Swing this way. What I want you to do is bring your knee to the ceiling. Push against my arm. How's that spot in your hip? It's fine. Okay. Go ahead and come on up and try doing like a squat. Pain with the hip at all? Not at all. No. I have not. Now I feel the right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, I mean, yeah, it, it's perfect. Okay, cool. Well, that's it for us. This is uh, Mello here from All Tune and Loop down in Dover. I'm Dr. Will Holdsworth, your Sussex County chiropractor from Pain Relief Chiropractic. Thanks for doing this video. Thank you, I appreciate it. Thanks for watching, everyone.